It's my favorite day of the week. New truck day. Hello there. Welcome back if you're returning and welcome to Bullman Built RC if you've never been here before, if you've never watched before, whatever. Anyway, today I'm going to go over some things that I got in the mail. Not really necessarily a new truck unboxing, but this is going to be all the things that I've been collecting and putting together that I'm just now showing you for a new project. So, <clears throat> here we go. This is a Gladiator chassis that I got. I actually bought a JT Gladiator and, well, what was that, Rocktober? Beat the Creek. I bought it a lot earlier this year, whatever you want to call it. I got this a couple months ago. I robbed some parts off of some other trucks. I took the sway bar off of my uh, my crew cab Texas, what was that, Texas limo, the one with no back doors that I'm building. This one right here. And uh, now... I um, kind of have a idea to do a really nice tow, uh, tow rig. So I have a trailer that I bought, I don't know, a year and a half ago or so. And now I'm trying to build something to pull that with. So I took the JT frame. It's still probably not long enough. I'm going to have to keep extending this out and then rebolt it back together. Right now, let's see, I don't know how much room we have. Yeah, we still got a little more room, I believe. If nothing else, I'll chop it, braze in some more length, and then keep going or something. I'm not real sure. It's already on straight axles. It's already been driven. I know that the axles are good. I did put a VFD in it, which if you're thinking about doing this, not exactly a direct bolt-in, but it does work. So I have these two screws here for right now, and then I'm basically going to have to drill into the skid right here to get any kind of meat on that. And then it'll just go through and it'll be good. This is actually the transmission out of a Ultra. So it hasn't have any of the upgrades or anything like that. But for what I'm gonna do with it, I'm gonna replace the motor and take uh, just like a Hobby Wing 1080 and probably just a Holmes motor, throw it in there. All it needs to do is pull the trailer. I don't want it to go fast enough to do anything. It doesn't have to crawl. It just has to look pretty, pull the trailer and not overheat and catch on fire. That's all I care about, so that is that give you a little bit of those lower links i thought looked okay like that they're actually bent links turned upside down i don't know i'm not sold on them jordan hates them but it is what it is so there's that 10-3 front axle 10-3 rear axle etc etc once it's cleaned up obviously it'll look better this does have some club 5 racing upgrades on it i'm not 100 percent sure i love them so i'm not real sure if they're gonna stay but that uh that kind of shows you the the base of it right <clears throat> so next I got these uh, I got these from a fella in Turkey his name's Ing Ingen engine I'm not exactly sure how you pronounce his name he's on Instagram it's on Facebook I got these these are 1.9 by 1.75 wide weld typhoon miniature replicas basically so I got those. I got these a couple weeks ago, and uh, I knew that I was still waiting on some other stuff, and I had to open them, obviously. These things are sick. Here's what they look like on some 4.75 Groundhogs. They do look good. They pooch out just a little bit. With a little bit different foam, they wouldn't look that bad. But I didn't want the truck this tall. So I went searching, and what I found are these Dixie Peck Mud Countries. They're right at like 4.19-ish, and then with a 1.9 wheel and the right foam, they do pooch out, but the rim doesn't stick outside of the actual rubber and the sidewall, so they have super stiff foam in them. But I got those, I have one side completely done, and then you're wondering, you do have to take the caps off to put them on, but the hubs actually screw in from the back on these. Super, super cool. So, you just put the 225s on there. I didn't really think hubs any bigger than that would be necessary, just because like that's already pretty freaking wide as far as all that dish. I didn't want it to be obscenely wide, uh, because then you start getting into, no matter how high I lift it, unless I put the tires completely under the rockers, then they start swinging a lot, and it's just not gonna look all that great. <clears throat> so, those are the wheels, and then the wheels and tires that I'm putting on the project. I'm pretty stoked about this. Uh, I have some paint ideas in my head. 
can't decide on what colors exactly I want it, but now we get to the body. This is the cool part. <laughs> Are you ready? I'm ready. I've been waiting a couple weeks for this, actually. So let's see. Oh. Let's see what we got. All right. Are you ready? Oh, man, I see it. Oh, I see it. We got that. We have this. Oh, it's good. I can tell. Oh, it's good. Oh, I love it. All right. <clears throat> you may already be able to tell what it is. But I'm excited because I've only seen it in pictures. I had Scott of... Uh, Scott's Custom RC, I believe is his. I'll put his information up here and I'll put his page up. He is on Facebook. I'm not 100% sure he's on Instagram or anything like that. Uh, I hit him up. I have seen some of his work and it is ridiculous. He is so good at doing stuff with styrene and uh, flat, basically hard bodies, things like that. <clears throat> Dang, he wraps this stuff really well. For one, this is nice. Okay. Getting a little closer. Getting a little closer. I'm gonna do the bed first. If you can't tell what it is, I'm gonna make you wait and make you suffer. Yeah. There we go. Okay. Got all the bubble wrap off. All right, you ready? Oh, it's so cool. All right, let's get that out of here. This. Oh, oh it's so good. Look at that. Look at that. You know, when I see a car like this, first thing I do is I say, would you look at this? You know what I mean? Yeah, sure. That looks so good. He primed it for me. I think he primed it and sanded it and finished sanded it like six different times. He kept sending me pictures of it getting better and better and better. The ribs and the roof, you see there, that looks so good. The doors are cut out. It does need, uh, the one thing I did want to do was I'll probably go around the edges of the doors and kind of deepen those a little bit just so they're a little bit uh, more defined to go with this middle door here. But this thing looks so good. So, so good. And it's so smooth. Looks so good. Now let's get the other half of it out. all right and there uh, there we go that is what that is what we're looking at right there um, so what I did was I sent him 2k5 blazer bodies the shrink RC stuff to extend the bed and a bunch of money basically and then I said this is what I want he told me how much it was and took off with it I sent him the uh, I sit in the back of the cab as well, which he did a really good job smoothing in. <clears throat> so, pretty much he took it, mashed these two pieces together. The top is almost all completely custom made. Uh, so the drip guards are all custom made. That's one thing that a lot of people get wrong, is they mess up these drip guards and then RC4 wheel drive put them way down and that just, just looked real weird anyway. But um, He filled in the gas door and then gave me the gas cap like a pickup would have on this side uh, and this is what some of the things I've been getting over the last couple weeks is for the custom grill that I got uh, last week the set from RC full drive this is uh, this is its home so I don't know how close we are on wheelbase <clears throat> we can find out real fast so okay I lied we're probably we're a good two inches off but 
you're getting the general gist. I do have to mess with the uh, tailgate. I do have to go get some of this primer. Man, this is nice primer, whatever this is. It doesn't have that rough like Walmart primer stuff to it. So this is super, super nice. And the interior as well uh, seems well put together. It's well braced. Um, super, super good. It's really nice actually. I'm real happy with this. So it's all flat. It looks, I mean, it's all level down through here. It looks really, really good. He did a really good job. So let me get this mocked up real fast. And we'll, oh geez. <clears throat> let me get this mocked up real fast and we'll kind of see what it's gonna look like with the wheels. Uh, I'm super excited about this thing. It is going to look killer and I am ready to start working on it. I have plenty of things to do. So if it means I got to put it up on the shelf and let it just hang out, then it is what it is. So check me out on my Facebook group, my Facebook page, and the Instagram, Bullman Built RC across the board. And that is all. Think about becoming a channel member if you want to, and you get to see some things pretty early. And I always do early videos, stuff like that. So that is all. I appreciate you watching. I will see you later. Bye.